a huge update to Robopack just landed, and I'm here to tell you about it. Last week, the Robopack team pushed two really useful features, and in this video, I'm going to give you a high-level look at them and talk about why they exist. Not only that, this Wednesday, we're hosting a live stream Q&A about these features and the upcoming features we can expect in the next few months. Make sure to subscribe to the Robopack channel so you don't miss that. Okay, okay, let's go. From the Robopack homepage, we have an extra button here. Now, the other feature, there's two, but the other feature is hidden right now because you have to go into a submenu to find it. I'll show you that in a moment. First, we'll click onto Radar. Now, Radar is all about scanning the existing Intune environment. And that essentially looks at what applications you've got in Intune and also on your devices that might have been pushed by Intune or not and figuring out whether Robopack should manage them. And it'll recommend whether there's an update available and whether Robopack can take over management of those applications for you. So you don't need to figure out which applications you've got on the estate and which applications you've got on your computers. You can just click Scan Intune and it will look at your Intune environment and suggest applications that you could put into Robopack. This has a potentially useful use case if you are migrating from one of our fantastic competitors over to Robopack, but also if you just have an estate that hasn't used any app management in the past and you've just been using Intune or just installing applications manually, just click Scan Intune and it'll put them all in Robopack for you. Before we move on, there is another feature that is actually referred to in this section here, which is a patch group. Now, with Robopatch, we've always had the ability to create a new application in Robopatch and add a, add a flow. And with that flow, we can add waves. Let me show you. If I choose Robopatch and, show my, and have a look at my flows, I've got uh, 8x8 work, for example. And if I scroll down, you can see the waves we've got. I'm going to click on these waves here, and these are the waves. So wave 1, wave 2, wave 3. Now, the issue's always kind of been that every time you create a new app, you had to create the waves. And there was a, a button to copy waves from previous applications, but we could surely template that. And so what, that's, what, that's what they've done. We can now have what's called a patch group. And with patch groups, we can specify some standard things. So here's the standard app deployment patch group that I've got. I'll click into that. And what you can see here is that Wave 1 goes to the IT pilot computers, Wave 2 goes to the app pilot computers, and Wave 3 actually creates its own name based on the application that's being added to the group, because this is dynamic. And this is important because if I was to choose Add Instant App and choose, let's choose Green Shot, for example, just because it's right there, I can see the wave that it's going to be deployed to, and it's going to go to this patch, this patch group called Standard App Deployment. And if I choose Create Flow, it will create the flow for me exactly as I want it with those additional groups there. Now, the point of this is that it's going to create a dynamically named group at the end there, which has got the app name in it. So this can actually be targeted at specific group, groups of people or users or devices rather than all devices or just a specific app group that already exists. That's very important. If I head back to the patch group up here, the standard app deployment, you can see I've got my two flows and apps that are in this patch group. But the reason it's very important that this is dynamic and able to scale for different applications, not just the one that you're working on at the time, is that we can import apps with Radar. And when we click that, it will drag the applications from Intune and show you a list so that you can choose the applications that you want to add to this patch group. And it will dynamically create those groups for you ready for deployment. Join me in the live stream in a few days time on the Robopack channel and we'll go into all of these features in much more detail with a live demonstration. See you there.